All right, so I wanted to help you solve this problem right here. Uh, a scout troop is practicing its orienteering skills with a map and compass. First they, first they walk due east for 1.2 kilometers. Next they walk 30 degrees west of north for four kilometers. How far and what direction will they walk to go directly back to their starting point? As with mo many, most problems, it is a good idea to draw a picture. So start out, right, we go east, for 1.2 kilometers. Then we go 30 degrees west of north, so draw yourself a north line, and then go 30 degrees west of that. So that would be something like that, where this angle would be 30 degrees, right? West, west of north. So this is four kilometers. So the, the walk back is going to be represented by this red line right here, right? So we want to know the length of the red line, and we want to know this angle right here. Now, we have a problem because we cannot add the 4 kilometers to the 1.2 kilometers because the 4 kilometers goes is both in north and also west, and the 1.2 is only east. So we can't work with it in its current state. In order to be able to, to work with it, we need to split it into the north component and the west component. So here's our north component along this line right here. And here is our west component, how far we walk west. So using trigonometry, this is going to be 4 sine 30, and this is going to be 4 cosine 30. If you use your calculator to type in 4 cosine 30, you should get that this length is 3.46 and 4 sine 30 is going to be 2 kilometers. So now we can add these uh, together the the three the these three the 1.2 the 3.46 and the two so you have your 1.2 then you have I'm going to add the the two kilometers next and you have your 4.3.46 All right, and then the walk back would be that right there. And this is the angle that we were looking for. So you can see, right, that if we walk 1.2 kilometers west and then two kilometers, or sorry, 1.2 kilometers east and then two kilometers west, right, we're actually gonna start out further west than, than where we started. And so we our right triangle is actually, right, this one right here. And so we need to know the base of this triangle. So you would just go 2 minus 1.2 to tell you that that length right there is 0 0.8 kilometers. So in order to find the length of this, we just need to do the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, so that would be right, 0 0.8 squared plus... 3.46 squared, and I suppose that if we square root all of that, that's going to give us that length right there. So, point 0.8 squared, let's just put in my calculator here. So that tells me the length of this line right here uh, is going to be uh, 3.55, which pretty close to the actual answer of 3.56 that, that is in WebAssign. So next to find the angle, you can do any number of different things. You could do um, you know, inverse cosine, inverse sine, or inverse tangent, all up to you. Um, I, get, I think I'm going to go ahead and do inverse tangent 
So um, tangent or tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, which would be uh, 0 0.8 divided by 3.46. So theta is equal to Thirteen degrees, and I got thirteen point oh two. So, um, but that's pretty close to what, right? What the what the answer in in web assign is. So, hopefully that helps you figure out how to solve it. Um, it's not it's not too bad as long as you don't assume that you start direct or you end directly above where you started, and then break that second that second vector into its pieces, and then it's pretty easy. Hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching.